Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. So in the previous couple of videos, we saw how to install Oracle 11G on your Windows 7 PC or a laptop. So I really hope you had a chance to install Oracle 11G using the method described in those videos. If not, you may want to do that using those tutorials on the database tutorial playlist 19 to 23. If you haven't installed it, that's fine. You can still proceed with this tutorial and learn the concepts or if you don't want to install, that's fine too. So, so when we install uh, Oracle database system, what really happens? What gets stored? An Oracle database system has two type of storage structures. One is physical storage structure. Second one is logical storage structure. Meaning that this physical storage structure comprises of all the files that get stored or created at the OS level, which is operating system level. And logical data structures are the objects that you would see once you log into the database. I will give, I will explain these both. So what's a physical storage structure? So when you install Oracle database, at the OS level, which is the operating system level, it free it physically creates these following files. These files can be seen at the OS level or at the ASM level. What is ASM? I'll explain that later. Okay. First is, as with any software, when you install it, it copies the software files in whatever location that we specify. So like that, when we install Oracle, it installs Oracle software. Those files are called Oracle binary files, Oracle software files. And generally the location where they are located would be called as an, would be called as an Oracle home. You don't need to remember this yet. I'll come to this later. But then. So after installing the software, it creates parameter file, control files, data files, temporary files, or temp files, online redo log files, archive log files, diagnostic files, which includes log files and trace files. You may want to note that I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. According to the option that you select at the installation, during the installation, it may not install these files. For example, if you just install Oracle software and uh, do not create a database at that point, it won't create these files. It will just install the software. Okay. So let me not complicate this. So when I say when you install Oracle, it means that you are installing uh, a new Oracle software with database. Okay, so the important thing is to understand when you install an Oracle database, it creates this binary files for uh, Oracle, and then uh, it creates this parameter file, control files, data files, temp files, online data log files, archive log files, diagnostic files. So these form the physical storage structure of an Oracle database management system. Thank you.